Hi folks, it's Jody with Strength and Wisdom Tarot, here to do mid-June readings for all the zodiac signs. As usual, these are general readings. If they resonate with you, that's great, and if they don't, maybe next time. And thank you for everyone who has liked, subscribed, shared to my channel. You guys rock! And if anyone would like a personal reading with me, all the info will be in the description box below. If you are new to my channel, then welcome. And make sure you hit the subscribe button down below, <laughs> the bell icon. That way you get notification for all the new stuff that I put out there. If you are returning to my channel, then thank you for going on this journey with me. Uh, also, you can check out my glow pendulums, which are absolutely awesome. On Instagram, there are videos there, Strength and Wisdom Tarot. And um, you can go to my website at strengthandwisdom1 at webs.com to check out my merchandise, pricing, and all that good stuff. Uh, also, every Wednesday I go live, so come join me and a great bunch of peeps to do a look in on all the zodiac signs as well as a random reading. So, Wednesdays, 7 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Come be a part of it. Okay. So, I do the mids by elements. This one is going to be for the elements of Earth. That's going to be Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo. So, we will start off with Capricorn. Let's see what's going on with you. Mid June 2021. Capricorn. Hmm. I have the Ace of Pentacles that came in reverse. Now, in the upright, here's an opportunity for the see here, taste, touch, prove things. Money, of course. It could be a new job. It could be a new way of making money. You know, like a side gig, side hustle. But in the reverse, this could have been declined. Now, pentacles could also be the things, you know, that money can't buy that have equal, if not more value. Love, respect, loyalty, and honesty. So, not every opportunity is for us. Whoa. Capricorn, I got death in reverse. And all my cards are upright. Now I get the Queen of Swords in reverse, too. Oof. Caps, what are you dealing with here? So death is always the transformation of something. Something has ran its course. You know what I mean? <clears throat> it goes to the west wayside. You know, it's, it's spent. But something doesn't want to change here. And it could be a negative air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius... Or somebody taking on these properties. Now, in the upright, they speak their truth. They're about facts, figures, numbers. You know, their emotions are in the back seat. But they stand by their convictions. Caps, in the reverse, this could be somebody who maybe bends the truth. This is somebody who, you know, mind screws. And they normally, they know you so well, they know just how to do it, too, because they're real good at it. This person could be a liar. Very manipulative. Hmm. And they like to play the mind games. You know, put these little scenarios in your head. Make you think about it all day long. Oh. Hmm. Now I get the three of wands right after caps. This is a... Uh, your ship's coming in. Success. The one course of action that you do differently from the other two that are behind them. That's what brings those ships in. So, remember, this could be, you know, the energy coming towards you, the energy you're putting out there. Friendship, partnership, love, ship, career, however it applies, Caps. But there is a way to find success with a person that's like this, that doesn't want to change. They can be manipulative, coercive, just plain mean. They can lie. And there's something here, you know, if this this is the boss, you know, someone who won't give you that raise, yeah. Always bringing disappointment and heartbreak. Bottom of the deck. <laughs> surprise, surprise coming, Caps. Get the tower. Now, this is something that comes in out of left field. You never know when the tower is going to come in. Like it T-bones you. Now, it could be, you know, good energy that something catches you off guard. That's good news. Or 
It could be something that's you never thought was going to be coming. Now, under the tower, I have the Page of Cups. Now, here is a message of something heartfelt, something sentimental. Could be an apology, could be a compliment. So, Caps, maybe that's just something that comes out of the blue. You never expect something like that from a person like this. Because it seems like Capricorn, no matter who this person is, like I said, friendship, partnership, love, ship, career, even family, you just can't gain anything valuable from this person. Love, respect, loyalty. This person's never going to change, Caps. They like the way they are. They like that controlling, manipulative, you know, mind boggle. But there is a way to succeed with someone like this. Success, dear Caps. Even though they cause a lot of heartbreak and a lot of disappointment. And even if something comes out of the blue, you know, just when you don't think somebody can go you know, that low. Think again. But Caps, this time, maybe it is that apology. Maybe it is that compliment that's maybe long overdue. So whatever you're doing, Caps, you know, not giving in to this person, not causing enough people, not, you know, Falling into their trap, so to speak. Something comes out of it. You do reach success with somebody who is negative and doesn't want to change. Whether that's friendship, partnership, the raise, money, inheritance, however it applies. Don't give up hope. Because this person just might surprise you. And I mean, really surprise you. <laughs> wow, Caps, good luck. It'd be interesting to hear some feedback on that. Absolutely. Nothing catches you more off guard than somebody who's so sour actually says something nice. Weeks. So let's move on to Taurus. See what's popping with you. Different decks. Steampunk now. Let's see what's popping with you in June. Mid-June 2021. For Taurus. What is going on? Middle of June. Oop. Hmm. We have conflict. The Five of Swords is usually one-upping somebody, winning, you know, at all costs, hitting below the belt. Not that what they say is true. It just hurts. Now, I like the way it's depicted in the steampunk because I always thought that woman was ganging up on him, two against one, right? No. She's handing him a sword. Choose your battles wisely if you're going to engage. Have the right weapon. Now, this is also called you know, the fruitless or hollow victory because really you had to lie or really get down and dirty under, you know, the belt to win something. What kind of victory is that? So Taurus, somebody might be wanting to get to engage with you. Now remember, friendship, partnership, love, ship, career, family, however it applies. You gotta choose your weapon wisely. How you engage because you're probably going to make somebody see something in a different point of view you have the hanged man but in reverse nope i always think it's in reverse nope it's in the upright this is feeling stuck stagnant not going forward not going backwards kind of like suspended animation right but the hangman sees something from a different point of view maybe through somebody else's eyes you know, somebody else's point of view. And that's what gets the hung man unstuck. Seeing something from a different point of view or angle. Now, 
Maybe this takes a little engaging. Taurus. You might have to interact to see, you know, have someone see something from your point of view. Or are you theirs? Oops, too many. Somebody might be getting the wrong story here, Taurus. If they're looking for the truth from you. Make them see something from a different angle. Why something happened the way it did. Why something's going the way it did. Could be with Queen of Wands in reverse. Hmm. Now here's Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy here. In the upright, they're creative, they're passionate, they go get it done. Motivated. Now, in the reverse, this could be somebody who is prideful, egotistical, arrogant, maybe a little ignorant. But this is someone who says they're going to, they're going to, they're going to, they're going to, but they put no motion behind their words. They're not credible. So maybe this is somebody, you know, who says, yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to. They always seem to have some, you know, to fight about or pick a fight with you, Taurus. But you can make them see something from a different point of view. Whoops. And these two? Nope, just to one. Now you have the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Not only is he the slowest one out of all of them, but he's had, you know, a dead stop here. Now, he's the messenger of the see, hear, taste, touch, prove things. Money, of course. But also the things that money can't buy. Love, respect, honesty, loyalty. Without those things, you have nothing. So, because of somebody who maybe has no action behind their words, that means nothing is offered because pentacles could be coming from you, Taurus. Nothing gained, nothing spent, I want to say, until somebody sees something from a different point of view. You know, somebody's going to do their fair share or their due diligence. Might want to fight you tooth and nail. But the bottom line is they're fighting with the ball. Unless they have action behind it, they don't get the valuable thing. They can him and haw all they want. Hmm. Ah. You're going to make them see their ways, my balls, bottom of the deck, because you're the magician. You Houdini that stuff. <laughs> An extra card came out too. You have the star. And a beautiful card this is. This is, you know, the universe hearing you. Your guys are with you. A wish being granted. This could be divine intervention. Things going on behind the scenes. You know, that blessing in disguise where it's good that something happened a certain way. Because when you look back at it, if it went some other way, man. And then the two of swords want to come out. Bonus. Now this is somebody turning a blind eye. Maybe not wanting to see the truth or he hear the truth. It's like the white elephant in the room that nobody wants to say. It's the white elephant in the room. Taurus, I believe you can work your magic here. And if you have to engage, like I said, choose your weapon wisely. Choose your words wisely. Because you do have the power. To make somebody see something from a different point of view. To understand something. Whether they're not motivated. If they're prideful. Or egotistical. Nothing ventured. Nothing gained. No action. No valuable thing. And whether this is divine intervention. Maybe you, pass, you cross, cross paths. Let me get that out. You know, for a reason, you're understanding, you're making somebody see something from a different point of view. Might make them feel different and might want to put some action behind something. Because right now, they're oblivious to it. Whether they don't, you know, take responsibility for their own actions or should. Taurus, work your magic. You'll make them see something that they didn't know or understand before. 
A blessing in disguise could be you, Taurus. Wow. Interesting. Wow. Good luck, my bulls. Okay. Now we're going to be going on to Virgo. And let's use a gilded Virgo. See what is going on for Virgie's mid June 2021. Virgo. What is going on with Virgo? Mid June 2021. Hmm. Well, we have the Emperor, usually depicted as Aries or Taurus, but the Emperor is the one that's in control. This could be authoritative like, boss like, father like. But he's one that calls the shots. He's the one that makes the rules. Now, a good emperor will follow his own rules because he leads by example. This is somebody who's been there, done that, can show you a few things. Yes, it can be a stubborn energy, but it is the person in control. Virgo, this could be somebody that you're dealing with. Or it could be you taking control of a situation. And again, friendship, part friendship partnership, love. Career, family, however it applies. But you're in control. Or somebody is here. Hmm. Could be. In matters of love. Virgo. You have the Ace of Cups here. Now here's the universe giving you this opportunity for either brand new love. Making an old love new. Or more self-love and respect for yourself. Because after all, the universe wants two things from everybody on this planet. Self-love, self-respect. So Virgo, if you're the one called the shots, you have an opportunity. You going to take it or not? Ooh. But you get the seven of swords around here. Virgo, the thief card. Now, there's plenty of ways to depict a thief. Yes, they steal your material things, but they also can, you know, steal your work and put their name on it. They can ghost you for no rhyme, no reason, and you're left feeling like you did something wrong. This is somebody who could be spreading your biz around. You know, smile right to your face, put that knife in your back, because after all, Virgo, he's got seven of them. Now, maybe you are the one that's in control. Maybe you are, you know, the boss. Or maybe you are, you know, the lead in whatever. You know, family. However it applies. Maybe somebody's trying to steal your love, Virgo. Or maybe it's you sneaking out. Avoiding love. Because after all, you're in control, right? Well, this person thinks they are. Hmm, I had two that came out. Now, Virgo, you have the Magician. Very powerful card. Number one in the Major Arcana. This person makes whatever he wants happen for himself. Law of Attraction, Manifestation. He's got all the tools in front of him to do it. And he creates these situations or these scenarios, okay, that benefit him. And then you have the Four of Swords. Now, this is taking a temporary break, a pause, a step back, a moment to breathe. And again, it's only a temporary state here of rest. This is, you know, where to reprioritize, re strategize, you know, make a plan, make a plan B. Because if you have somebody eluding you, hmm, maybe it's a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or somebody who takes on these properties. The Queen of Cups has a poker face. She could be dying inside, but she would never give you the satisfaction of knowing that. She comes off even keel, calm, cool, and collected. Very intuitive. Hmm. Interesting, Virgo. 
So we're talking about matters of the heart here. Whether it's friendship, partnership, family. Something's ducking out. Virgo, whether this is the energy they're putting out there or the energy coming towards you, this is like eluding someone. Maybe turning their back on a commitment or a friendship or some sort of partnership. It may be somebody here, Virgo, if not you, you know, the other person needs to take control of the situation. You know, if this person's disappearing, looking like they're doing something shady on the DL, work your magic here, Virgo. Put a plan together. Actually, take some time. Make a plan and make a plan B. And also think to yourself, Virgo, do you want someone so elusive? You know, maybe tells you what they're doing? Not. You might have genuine feelings for this person. But remember, Virgo, self-love, self-respect is first. You know, no one's welcome at you. Nobody's punching bag. Don't be taking advantage of someone, you know, just because you have the opportunity of love. You're in control. This is your rodeo. You call the shots. Whatever is, you know, acceptable to you or not acceptable, acceptable. Make it known. And create that. Whether it's bubble space, you know, the line that just no, nobody cro you know, crosses. Because if you're dealing with somebody who is a pretty good poker face, and you don't know what they're up to, you don't even know, you know, if they're, you know, in it, or they're going to hit it and quit it. Remember, have that plan. And a plan B. And never lose control of the situation, Virgo. Because nobody should be dealing with someone like this, especially in matters of the heart. Whoa. So that is what I have for the Earth Signs. Please keep on liking, subscribing, sharing. And uh, don't forget about Wednesdays at 7 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. And checking me out on the Instagram so you can see those videos of the glow pendulums. So until then, folks, take care.